Hi, Llama friends. So in this, in this video today, we are talking about ants and ladybugs. So I'm going to talk a little bit about each insect, and then you're going to help me um, figure out the steps of each bug's life, uh, life cycle. So first, I'm going to show you an ant. So this is what an ant looks like. I want you to think about where you've seen an ant before. Where have you seen this bug before? Have you seen it outside? Has it ever been in your house? Miss Megan had a bunch of ants in her house yesterday because I left my door open on accident and all these ants came in and I had to safely return them back to their homes outside. So this is, these are the different body parts of an ant and um, Bugs have a lot of similar body parts like humans, except they, um, they might look a little different and they do different things. So they have eyes right here. This is their head. Where's your eyes? Right here. And where's your head on your body? Right here. So they have eyes and they have a head too. And they have a thorax in the middle here. So the human thorax is right here in our chest. And um, in insects, the thorax is, is pretty, it's different. It's completely different than, than humans. They have an abdomen. Our abdomen is right here. And look, they have legs. And we have legs. Where are your legs? Show me your legs. These are Miss Megan's legs. Ants have legs too, but they have something different that we do not have. They have these little things at the top of their head. Do you know what they're called? Antennas. All insects have two antenna coming out of their head. And do you remember what the antennas do? They help smell. So we have a what that helps us smell things? Our nose, but bugs have antenna that helps them smell. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some fun facts about ants. So they have three body parts. So they have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They have six legs. Now remember, all insects have six legs except for a spider. A spider has how many legs? Eight, that's right, they have eight legs. So they're technically not an insect. They have two antennas coming out of their head, remember? And they live in groups called a colony. Now, yesterday we talked about bees, and bees also live in a colony. Ants, um, an ant colony lives in a nest that's full of tunnels and rooms. So this is what an ant colony looks like. You may have seen this in the grass before when you're playing outside, or maybe when you were walking on the street or sidewalk, you might see an ant colony. It looks like this. So it's a little hole um, that the ants can burrow inside. They, um, there's different kinds of ants. So there's a worker ants, and they do different things. They help build the nest here. They find and collect food outside the nest, so they'll carry food. Sometimes we see ants stealing little bits of our food. So they carry it inside here to feed the other ants. They um, guard and protect the nest, and they take care of the eggs that are inside. So the baby ants. And just like how bees have a queen bee, ants have a queen ant. And it's the biggest ant. So just like how a bee has a queen bee and it's the biggest bee in the entire colony, it's the same thing with ants. Ants have a queen bee and it's the biggest ant in the colony. And her job is to lay eggs, just like the queen bee. Ants eat leaves, other insects, and dead animals. So those are some fun facts about ants. Now I'm going to show you the ant life cycle. So first it's an egg. So they start as an egg and then they are larva and then they turn into the pupa here and then it becomes an adult ant. 
Okay, it starts as an egg, larva, pupa, adult ant. That is the life cycle of an ant. All right, we are going to talk about ladybugs and then we will come back to ants and do the life cycle. So this is what a ladybug looks like. What are some things that the ladybug has that the ant also has? Can you find things that are the same? Go ahead and point with your finger. Show me, what is the same? They have eyes, so ladybugs and ants both have eyes. They have a head. What are those two little things coming out of the ladybug's head? Antennas, so they both have antennas. It looks like this is the ladybug's thorax, so they both have thorax. And what are these little things around the ladybug's body? What are those called? Legs, so just like an ant, the ladybug has legs. Let's count how many legs the ladybug has. One, two, three, four, five, six. It has six legs just like the ant. And this is the ladybug's abdomen. I want you to look right here at the abdomen. What color is the ladybug's abdomen? It's red. And what color are the spots? Black, they have black spots. I want you to think about where you have seen a ladybug before. Have you ever seen a ladybug? Where have you seen a ladybug? All right, we're going to go over some fun facts about ladybugs. So just like the ant, they have three body parts. They have the head, thorax, and the abdomen. They have how many legs? Six, can you show me six with your fingers? Six, they have six legs. And how many antennas do they have at the top of their head? Two, two little antennas at the top of their head. Now, ladybugs have something different than ants. What can ladybugs do that ants cannot do? So ants crawl, what can ladybugs do? They can fly, that's right. And what do they need in order to fly? They need wings. So a ladybug has four wings. They have strong jaws for chewing, so she's able to chew. They have spots, stripes, or no spots at all. So sometimes they look different. They might have spots or they might not have spots. They can be all kinds of different colors. So we have ladybugs that can be red, yellow, orange, black, or white. And in the winter, they gather to hibernate. So look how many are together. They can be all together to hibernate. And look at the wings. We have one, two, three, four. They eat up to 50 insects per day. So they eat a lot of insects. Okay, now we're going to look at the life cycle of a ladybug. So similar to the ant, our ladybug starts as an egg then it turns to larva. Then we have a pupa. And then the ladybug turns into an adult. Egg, larva, pupa, adult ladybug. This is the same thing we see for bees and most of our insects. That's how most of them um, have their life cycle. So now you're going to help me put the life cycle together. So we're gonna start with the ant. I have my chart here. You can see it. Okay, so who remembers what stage is first? Are they first an adult? No. Are they first a pupa? 
Now, what goes first? What happens first? The ant is an egg. We're gonna put egg up top here. Then what happens? The egg grows into a what? Larva. You're right, the egg turns to larva. So first they're an egg, then they're larva. And then what happens? It turns into a pupa. Look, we start to see those little ants come out. Can you see them? They start to come out. And then what is the last stage of the ant life cycle? They turn into a what? An adult. Then they are a grown up adult ant. Now we're gonna look at the ladybug life cycle. What do you think happens first in the ladybug life cycle? Are they an adult first? No. Are they larva first? No. What happens first? They lay eggs, they're eggs first. So our first step of the life cycle is that the ladybug is an egg and then what happens? Then they turn to larva. You're right. Uh-oh, it's kind of lopsided. Hold on friends. So our first stage is that they're an egg, then larva, and then are they an adult? No, what happens? They turn to what? It's a p, p sound. P pupa. Next, they're a pupa. And then they turn into a adult ladybug. Let's look at both of our life cycles. Notice how they are the same. Both start as an egg, then they turn to larva, then they both are pupas, and then they both turn into adults. That's right, they have the same life cycle. That's pretty neat. A lot of insects have the same life cycle. All right, my llama friends, thank you for joining me in our circle time today. Hopefully you can find some answer ladybugs outside or maybe when you go on your bug hunt, those are two insects that you can look for. I will um, talk to you soon and we will post another video about spiders and caterpillars and butterflies tomorrow. All right, talk soon friends, bye.